the X5 U2 wireless guitar system. Let's see how it sounds. Welcome to this uh, quick review of the X5 U2 wireless guitar system. Full disclosure, X5 was kind enough to send me this unit for free. Other than that, no money has been exchanged and they haven't seen this video before I uploaded it. The X5 U2 comes in this nice little box. It is a wireless 2.4 GHz guitar system and um, I don't really have a lot of experience with wireless systems before but I did use a Line 6 unit way back in the days and for live use there is nothing better than a good wireless system because your cables will get tangled up in stuff and they will break and they will get stolen so having a nice and compact little wireless system is a very good thing to have. I was pleasantly surprised that the system is this just consists of two small units and there is one uh, receiver and one transmitter. One goes in your guitar, the other goes in your amp, and you just turn them on and you can easily switch between four different channels. And as long as you set them to the same channel, you're good to go. And if you have four guys in your band using the same things, you just have to be on different channels. Now using this uh, unit is very simple. All you have to do is and then we can get to the business. Uh, first thing you do is that you turn it on just by flicking one switch and then there's one button for the channel. You push the channel and then you get a flashing light representing what channel you are on. And that is the whole setup of the unit. There is nothing more to it and it's super simple and intuitive. One thing to note with this uh, wireless digital system is that because this is a digital 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless system you're actually not losing any signal in this. If you're using a guitar cable and especially if you're using a long cable you will probably experience a slight drop off in the top end of your signal. You're going to lose some treble uh, which is not the case with a wireless system because there is not that much metal that your sound has to travel through so you're not losing that top end so in theory you might be getting a better tone with a wireless system and at least you're not getting a worse tone which is the most important thing. I've already used this a little bit in my studio and I've had no issues with it. It works just as intended, no hassle, no unwanted noise, no problems at all and it sounds I would say completely the same as my um, expensive cable. The pricing of this unit in Norway is around 150 bucks which is not too expensive for a wireless system and I think that you're getting a lot for your money and I will definitely try this out when I'm going to play live with my band Shadowmind in 2024 hopefully and finally for this video review I did of course include a test where I'm comparing this to the sound of the guitar using my expensive cable and let's just uh, have a listen and uh, you can see if you can tell a difference I certainly can't and um, yeah, enjoy.